So today's video is for all those of you who haven't been in the shop for a very long time because in it I will run you through top 5 of old but good perfumes and top 5 brand new releases that have just recently been launched and are worth your attention. So if you want to find out more about that top 10, let's go! Unfortunately, it wasn't possible to film in the shop. That's why I'm filming on my way home in the car. It's gonna be loud, so I'm sorry for that. But without further ado, let's jump into this top 10 list of uh, perfumes that are worth your attention next time you are in the shop. And I want to start with a brand new release from Christian's Dior exclusive French that is called Eden Rock, which is such an interesting perfume because it's not your typical fragrance that you might expect from Dior because you know it's not this floral fragrance or it's something super heavy instead it smells quite fresh and balsamic and balsamic is not necessarily a trend that's why I'm very glad that they released something unique with a note of plastic oil with pine so it's quite cool it smells a little bit tart and I thought it's patchouli Maybe it's in there, but I can tell you that it's a lovely, ambery, oriental, very modern, not too heavy perfume for those who love fragrances in this style. And of course, it is unisex, so I can only recommend it. I find it's unique, it's nothing boring, and that's why it is worth your attention. An oldie but a goodie is definitely a rush by Gucci. You guys, this fragrance smells timeless and classy. It has lots of fruity notes, in particular, I guess it's peach. But you know what? These days, so many brands release fragrances with this shower gel note, which I don't like. They don't last long, they smell so similar. And this fragrance, although it is fresh and it is fruity, it doesn't smell like all the other fragrances out there. So although it has been around for a very long time, I find that with it you can stand out and at the same time it smell pleasant for your colleagues if you're going to work. It's something very easy going for ladies. You can wear on the everyday basis, doesn't matter what you're doing, whether you are at work or you just go grocery shopping. This fragrance is elegant and um, it's going to be fitting for all year round. So I definitely like it and definitely recommend it. Next one is brand new perfume from Narcissus Rodriguez Amber in the beautiful Flabong. It's one of the reasons why I recommend it. If you see it, definitely grab a bottle and sniff on it. There is Eau de Toilette version and there is Eau de Parfum. I like both of them. Of course, matte bottle is more appealing to me. And uh, I find it's a lovely release from Narcissus Rodriguez, of course, in their signature musky style, but it has this very modern see-through transparent amber note, so it's not an oriental balm, it's not too heavy and balsamic, vanillic, instead it smells like clean amber, like white amber, and it's great if you go to work, you can wear a toilette, and if you go after work, um, maybe to have some drinks, maybe you just want something a bit heavier for the night time, then I recommend you another strength of it, but they are both beautiful, unlike all the other fragrances in these cute bottles. It's not overwhelming because the rest is a little bit too much and too strong for me. However, this one has beautiful freshness and depth to it, so in my opinion, it's definitely a super successful release with something powdery and velvety, and I think that you can have a lot of fun with it without smelling too strange and too unique and at the same time you will smell interesting so people will actually come up and uh, ask what are you wearing. Next fragrance is for all Love Gourmet perfumes because it's candy from Prada and I love this entire range. There are fresher citrusy fragrances and also more in deep and um, caramel like perfumes but the original one it smells just like the softest vanilla candy is great. I love this very delicate vanilla perfume. It smells like candy but it doesn't smell too sticky and too sweet what it might have some. 
and uh, some people might shy away from Vermont fragrances, but if you're going on a date, if you're looking for a playful perfume, and at the same time you want it to be versatile, you want it to be appropriate not only for special occasions, I really recommend it to you because it is cozy. I find vanilla fragrances are always very appealing, and at the same time it's not too loud, it's not intense, it's not aggressive, it's just perfect vanilla, honestly for everyday basis for all year round and I like it a lot, I definitely recommend it. I need to grab a bottle for myself as well. All the ladies who love vanilla and don't have this perfume, I think we are missing out. Next guys is brand new release from the house of Berlin that is called Flora Salvaggia. Totally mispronounced its name, very sorry for that and this is aquatic floral fragrance for the summertime from their Aqua Vigoria collection that is known for its minimalistic transparency. This is the one you can go heavy on, you can over spray it, it's not going to be too much, it's going to be better and better. It smells a little bit like lilac to me, but lilac after the rain and in the opening there is almost like a watermelon note, so it's great for the time when it is super duper hot and you want something more it's just like this infused water. It's not a lemonade, it's not tea, it's just water infused maybe with flowers, maybe with some fruits. So yeah, it's a lovely release and if you're in the shop and you love this entire collection and you're familiar with it and you know that you enjoy these delicate and um, really light fragrances that don't have the best longevity, but this is not what you're looking for, you're just looking for something that will make you smell refreshed, check it out, it has this lovely aquatic fruity floral note. It smells like floral garden after the rain. Next one guys is something I have on my wish list now. I smelled it in the store today and I thought, oh gosh, why no one talks about Pure Poison by Dior. I like the original Poison, but something about this flanker, well, it's less sugary, it's less powdery, it's less sweet than the original Poison. It has the addition of white flowers and it just smells really exquisite. It's one of those fragrances you can wear on the wedding, it's one of those perfumes you can wear if you're going to the birthday dinner, if you just want to smell really pleasant, really elegant. Um, and just good, you know? It's nothing too crazy. It's definitely one of those easygoing, easy to understand perfumes. But at the same time, I find there is something like probably the DNA of the original poison that makes it so interesting and special and unique. So it's not innocent, but it's definitely way more innocent than the original poison, which is just this intense sexiness. So if you want something lighter and you love the original poison, this might be something you also want to check out. At least this is what I recommend to everyone who loves poison. And not even if uh, you haven't been in the shop for a long time. Maybe you've been there yesterday and probably you haven't smelled this fragrance uh, in years. Check it out. Who knows, maybe they will discontinue it. And in my opinion, it's worth it very much. Oh gosh, probably I'll buy this here. See. Next one, guys, is Barbary Fur. Perfume that smells like the designer version of the super duper popular and hyped fragrance Baccarat Roche. It is created by the same perfumer as the that one, based in Francisco de Jong, and they are very similar, only that Barbary Fur smells softer without this harsh medicinal edge of a bright rouge and that's why in my personal opinion it is way more universal and um, much better for everyday basis. A bright rouge is super loud and very noticeable and you might want to wear it if you go out and you're in the crowd. Maybe if you're at work and you're looking for something more casual but with the, the scent of a bright, I recommend you this one. Honestly, if you've heard lots of uh, great things about Baccarat Rouge and you are curious how it smells and you cannot check it out, check out this entire range of Barbara Fur because all of them are similar to Baccarat and um, yeah, they are playful, they are sexy, but once again, as I've said, they are also casual. I have this 
very beautiful candy-like um, pastel. When I smell it, I imagine pastel candy. That's like powdery finish. Uh, it's delicious. I definitely prefer it um, to a crush wash. In my opinion, it's much more successful version of it. All right, guys, let me tell you about the stunning Valentina by Valentino. You guys, this perfume is so underrated. I don't know why people don't hype it, why people don't rave about it. Once again, I am afraid they will take it out of production. So it's one of those I will be adding to my collection for sure, because first of all, it's powder magic. It smells fresh and powdery, and it's not very common because normally powdery perfumes are sweet, they are very floral. This one it smells creamy, it smells delicate, it smells like a new dress, very glamorous, very feminine, and it's just like a signature scent in a stunning, stunning bottle. So maybe if you overviewed it, maybe if you haven't smelled it yet, and um, you have a chance to definitely give it a go. In my opinion, it's worth your attention because, well, it's signature scent like. And I saved best for last. Finally comes brand new release from Tom Ford that's Sole Brulant. And I had high hopes for it and oh my god, it smells really good. Although Benny called it muggy, this is basically the spice that you add to your food and... Wait a second, I need to clarify You something. need to drive! I'm okay. driving, I'm driving, I'm just... I just want. Okay, won't, see, won't, see. I won't let the guys know that, yeah, I called it Maggie. Right. Because you sprayed it on me while I was wearing my mask in a dirty corner of the boot. No, not of the boot. Yeah, yeah, of right. The shop, yeah. And it was like the first thoughts that I had to this perfume. Okay. Where you have a second Maggie, chance. I have a second chance. Or this chance. perfume okay. has a second chance. Not to say something else, no, it's not smelling like muggy anymore, but it's still very, um, it's, it's not deep, but it's very spicy. Right. It's, uh, do you smell honey in there? Honey, do you smell honey? No, honey, I don't smell honey. Okay. Uh, well, take care, so. Right, so, you guys, maybe we should film this video like that all the time, but Benny was like, no. I don't want to be on uh, camera. I don't want to be on camera. Yeah, uh, yeah but anyway. Uh, I love this new release. I want a bottle. I don't know how. If you want to support us going crazy, driving to Frankfurt, smelling all the fragrances to put on your radar only the ones that are worth it, feel free to donate on Buy Me Coffee website. It's very easy. Link is below. And that completed this video. I hope I didn't forget anything. If so, I will add it in the description box where you can find more helpful information where you can follow me on my social media for more content and check out my previous video so thank you so much for watching this one it was something different probably too loud i'm very sorry for that but also probably very interesting because i haven't filmed anything quite like it in the car so guys on that note have an amazing day let me know if there is anything from your side that you think is worth um, people's attention whether it's a new perfume or an og one and i'm excited to hear from you particularly if you have any questions i'm here to answer them and I guess that's all I want to tell you. There are many more interesting fragrances in the shop that I wanted to create a top 10 list. But if uh, it's something you would like me to continue doing, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!